Hi everyone, my name is Tin. I am here to present the topic, the use of transitional metal in improving hydrogen storage. This topic is derived from a Nike paper, Dynamic of Titanium Aluminum Hydride Compound in Titanium Doped Sodium Aluminum Hydride by Dr. Fandi Datara. The objective of my presentation is understanding the importance of hydrogen economy, research aim for hydrogen storage, introduction to high energy bulk milling processes, and the effect of dopant on increasing thermodynamics of absorption and desorption hydrogen. Hydrogen storage is a method of using hydrogen for energy. It could be used for multiple purposes, becoming the potential fuel for multi-power and automobile vehicle, sustainable energy generation, reducing global warming, and especially achieving the energy independence. This is how hydrogen economy works. Hydrogen could create in many different ways. As we can see in the graph, it could create by electrolysis, by coal, or by renewable energy. And the amount of hydrogen creating can become very useful in application for transportation, fuel cells, and industry. This is some introduction about hydrogen atoms. Hydrogen is the most plentiful gas on the universe. One interesting fact about hydrogen is that the sun's core is the combination of hydrogen atoms and helium atoms, which produce the huge amount of radiant energy on Earth. Next property of hydrogen is the highest energy content of any common fuel by weight, but lowest energy content by volume. Hydrogen also plays as an energy carrier. One of the key components for the hydrogen economy is fuel cell powered vehicles which in turn depend critically on the advanced hydrogen storage materials that can store hydrogen on board with high gravimetric and volumetric densities. Because of the third property, hydrogen is extremely difficult to store, as we see. This, with this property, a large hydrogen tank is required for such a comeback vehicle, however, a vehicle carrying a large tank would create the inefficiency economy. This is a reason hydrogen storage material takes place. Finding a right material to store hydrogen has been a challenge for many researchers. This is a table to show the hydrogen storage research target from the US government. For example, the results need to get higher or the same like the usable hydrogen density. Volumetric will be 4.5 kg hydrogen per liter and gravimetric will be 0.06 kg hydrogen per liter. If the researcher have the result that follow this table, it would like to develop a new hydrogen storage material. There is some previous hydrogen storage solution. <coughs> we have two hydrogen storage solution, chemical solution and physical solution. For chemical solution, we have three popular methods, synthesized hydrocarbon, the use of ammonia, or the use of metal hydride. For the physical solution, we can use carbon nanotubes, metal organic framework, or doped polymer. My interesting one is the carbon nanotube, as you can see on the pink picture. Titanium and hydrogen stick to the carbon nanotube for the uptake and releasing hydrogen. How can we hold hydrogen in a benign chemical form and activate its energy under a pressure we decide? This is a question the researchers need to answer when they do research for hydrogen storage. And among hydrogen storage solutions, I'm really interested in the solid state hydrogen storage has been because it has been achieved many wonderful results. Solid state hydrogen storage is created by primary from metal hydride. Metal hydride has the ability to uptake and to release hydrogen easily under desired temperature and pressure. As we can see in the graph, decomposition of metal hydride breaks down hydrogen atoms, releasing hydrogen gas. The system also reduces huge amount of energy. One example of the metal hydride application is nickel metal hydride battery. It is a safest way to store and release hydrogen as we can see in the picture. And uh, in the below picture, metal crystal under releasing heat could absorb a huge amount of hydrogen atoms. This system results in metal hydride. Also, 
by absorbing heat, the metal hydride could decompose to release hydrogen gases. The energy carried by the system by releasing and uptaking hydrogen is the energy that we can use for the hydrogen economy. Among metal hydride compounds, sodium aluminum hydride is popular for research. The graph is the molecular structure of sodium aluminum hydride. The decomposition of sodium aluminum hydride yields 5.6 weight percent hydrogen to two step. Original sodium aluminum hydride decomposed to have a new complex sodium aluminum hydride with aluminum and hydrogen and further decomposition will have sodium hydride and aluminum and hydrogen. In order to achieve the high nano engineering and mechanical activation of above redox reaction, researchers apply physical methods. High energy bulb milling processes a well known method for producing nanocrystalline material by rotating the compounds in horizontal axes. The graph basically demonstrates how bulb milling works. As you can see, the compound inside the bulb milling spin really fast under the temperature or uh, under the pressure that can make the compound be grinding into the nanocrystalline. This is the X-ray diffraction of sodium aluminum hydride decomposition. The graph is divided into two regions, 160 degrees Celsius and 1 atm hydrogen versus 100 degrees Celsius and 133 atm hydrogen. We could clearly see the pathway for hydrogenation from the redox reaction above. Every time the curve is going up and down, that is when we have a new compound form. And also when a new compound form, as we see in the redox reaction, is that follow the releasing of hydrogen or reversible uptaking of hydrogen. So what it opens? Any impurity added to a semiconductor to modify its electrical conductivity. A dopant works by altering the number of free electrons in the crystal lattice, thereby making it more conductive. This is the effect of dopant in the hydrogen kinetic and storage. The addition of graphite or transitional metal into the physical processes of solid state hydrogen could effectively change the hydrogen generation and the hydrogen generation of the red dark reaction. This, this evidence has been proved by many researchers around the world. This is a red dark model for the doped TI titanium. Sodium aluminum hydride plus titanium chloride will produce a complex hydride and the complex titanium doped. The substitution of doped TI can fine tune the property of complex hydrides. This is a graph of the bar milling with and without doping. I can see in a straight line, it's a pure sodium aluminum hydride. And the dot line is a doped 2, per, two more percent titanium or butane. Doped titanium sodium aluminum hydride shift to the original curve to the right. Doping directly affects the decomposition of sodium aluminum hydride. Therefore, Hydrogen capacity increase upon increased doping if sodium byproduct is removed. Going to conclusion, the addition of doping could lead to the propriety formulation of new hydrogen storage material. Many remarkable researchers have shown that doping boosts up the activity of reversible hydrogen capacity at relevant temperature and regional kinetic. This new result gives us a hope for the energy independence since hydrogen is non toxic and is plentiful on the surface. There are a lot of future direction increasing the duration of bulb milling or using different dopant or using different metal hydride. Last one I'm going to talk is about the uh, reference. I take a lot of reference from the IQ paper and also from the journal of the material science research. Thanks a lot for your listening.